In today's video, I will show you lower back pain relief yoga exercises. Learn how to do body pain yoga. Remember, if you like my content, click the like button, share this video with one or two people and subscribe to the channel to get more tools for better well-being. Hug the knees into the chest, lengthen the back of the neck, keep a smile on the lips and rock your pelvis from side to side. Keep this smile on the lips and breathe through the nose in and out. And then rest your palms on the knees, on the kneecaps, and you will notice that your back is basically flat on the ground. And this is what you want to feel throughout this exercise. So we lower the feet to the ground as we exhale. And your fingers just slide along the legs. It doesn't have to be much. I want you to stay within a pain-free range. And I want to make sure that you are where you can control what you do. And that is what I try to illustrate. If you begin to arch your back, if you move your feet too low to the ground and you begin to arch your back, then that is too much. Stay where you can control this motion. Your shoulders are soft, the neck is long, and you do that a few times, breathing in and breathing out. So this exercise is really for those of us who tend to get lower back pain because of an anterior pelvic tilt. So perhaps you have noticed that when you sit, your back is quite arched or you completely round it with your shoulders hunching forward. And at that hinge, you feel discomfort. Let go. Hug the knees into the chest and rock the pelvis from side to side. Keep your heels close to the buttocks, but keep the knees in a pain-free range. And what we do now is we activate the hamstrings. So pull the heel in and then undo. So just a few of those here on the left side. It looks so simple, but you will notice what's going on. Try to really pull the foot, the heel closer to the buttocks and begin to feel what's going on at the backs of the thighs. If your thighs begin to cramp, then relax them for a moment and get back into it. But that is always a sign. <laughs> Let me put it that way. It is always a sign. It means something. Breathe in and breathe out regularly and notice that. I know it looks super simple. Just do it with me. Do that at your pace and really pull the heel as close to the buttocks as you comfortably can. That is important. Healing needs requires us to stay within the pain-free range. So you do not want to get into the range where your body gets stressed and you send signals of danger to the brain. Breathing in and breathing out. I'm sure you have done both sides a few times. Either you alternated or you did one side at a time. Keep breathing as you do that. Keep supplying your body with oxygen. Stay present in the body and then pause. Turn the palms down and lift the buttocks off the ground. Keep your feet together. Try to keep your knees together and then lift the buttocks off the ground. You can interlock the fingers. You can tuck the shoulders under, lengthen the back of the neck and really get this good work. Again, if your knees are not happy doing that, then please only go as far as your knees allow you to and then round the back and hug the knees into the chest. If you enjoy hugging the knees into the chest really, then this should be your sequence. If you don't really like that, if your back doesn't like that, 
then this may not be your sequence. And you can always send me an email at thebodyconditioner at gmail.com to figure out what the right sequence is for your body type. At this point, hug the right knee into the chest, interlock the fingers behind the thigh and keep that right knee as close to the chest as you comfortably can. So your shoulder blades are secured. You pin down the left big toe into the ground and with the exhalation, you extend the heel up towards the ceiling, breathing in and breathing out. Let your forehead soften and spread. Let the corners of your eyes soften and spread. And then as you inhale, you take your arms backwards and you slowly drop your arms and the foot on the ground. We do this a few times. Extend your right leg up towards the ceiling, arms overhead. And as you exhale, undo. And again, arms overhead and exhalation, bending that right knee and taking your arms down. And then we do that same thing on the left side. Interlock the fingers behind the left thigh. You can switch the interlock. You can lift the left heel up towards the ceiling. Keep your shoulder blades secured. Keep a smile on the lips. Keep your right foot flat on the ground. Pin down the right big toe into the ground and release the breath through this left leg. Great job. Breathe through that leg. Notice that sensation in the body and enjoy that sensation. Remember to visit me at thebodyconditioner.com or send me an email at thebodyconditioner at gmail.com to figure out what's going on in your body and how we can give you an individually tailored approach to healing. Inhalation, extend the left leg up towards the ceiling, arms backwards, overhead, Exhalation, drop the left leg, your arms a few times here. Mm, fantastic sensation. Awesome. Fantastic job. Great job. And then you can stay here with your knees bent. You can also stretch out your legs, turn the palms up and let go. Feel the heaviness of the body and against the ground and enjoy that sensation. <laughs> 